pathophysiology of severe acute malnutrition describes in detail the effects of severe acute malnutrition on the functions of the body organs and systems. It is important to understand the pathophysiology of severe acute malnutrition as it highlights the reasoning behind the treatment applied when managing severely acutely malnourished children. Severe acute malnutrition has multi-systemic effects and it affects all body organs and systems including the brain, heart, kidney, liver, skin, hair, gut and immune system. The mainstay in the pathophysiology of severe acute malnutrition is the reductive adaptation of all the organs in the body. This means that all systems slow down to allow the body to survive on limited calories and as a child with severe acute malnutrition starts receiving appropriate treatment, the body also slowly learns to function fully again. Therefore, in children with severe acute malnutrition, feeding must be done slowly and feeds must be cautiously increased to allow the body to always remain within the physiological capacity of the patient. We will now discuss the effects of severe acute malnutrition on different organ systems and their function. Cells and cellular function. The sodium potassium pump activity is reduced and the cell membrane is more permeable than normal. This leads to an increase in intracellular sodium and decrease in intracellular potassium and magnesium. This contributes to an overall high body sodium and low potassium in children with severe acute malnutrition. Therefore, sodium containing fluids must be given cautiously in children with severe acute malnutrition and potassium must be replaced when low or necessary. The synthesis of protein is also reduced at a cellular level. The cardiovascular system. The heart muscle in children with severe acute malnutrition is weakened and hence there is reduced cardiac output and stroke volume. This leads to reduced circulatory volume and time, subsequently resulting in low blood pressure. This compromises renal perfusion and perfusion to other organs and systems. Plasma volume, however, is usually normal. Any increase in blood pressure can easily produce acute heart failure, and further reduction in blood pressure can further worsen organ and tissue perfusion. The kidneys and renal function. In children with severe acute malnutrition, the kidneys are not functioning at normal capacity. Fluid and solute excretion are reduced and the capacity of kidneys to excrete excess acid or water load is also greatly reduced. Therefore, giving excess intravenous fluids, including blood, can easily cause fluid overload and heart failure in children with severe acute malnutrition. It is important to remember that the excretion of sodium is also reduced in severely malnourished children. Urinary tract infections are also very common in children with severe acute malnutrition. Liver and liver function. The capacity of the liver to take up, metabolize and excrete toxins is severely reduced in children with severe acute malnutrition. Essential biochemical processes that normally occur in the liver such as gluconeogenesis, protein synthesis and bile secretion are reduced. Impairment of gluconeogenesis poses a risk of hypoglycemia in children with severe acute malnutrition. Gastrointestinal system and function. The small intestinal mucosa is atrophied hence absorption of nutrients is reduced. The pancreas is atrophied meaning the production of digestive enzymes is reduced. There is also reduction in bile acid production and intestinal motility. The immune system. All aspects of immunity are diminished, hence increased risk of infections and signs of severe infection are often masked. Lymph glands, tonsils and the thymus are atrophied. T-cell immunity is severely depressed.
Hypoglycemia and hypothermia are both signs of severe infection in children with severe acute malnutrition. However, some severely malnourished children with severe infection may not have a fever. The musculoskeletal system and skin. The skin and subcutaneous fat and glands are atrophied. This leads to loose folds. This means that many signs of dehydration are unreliable in children with severe acute malnutrition. For example, eyes may be sunken because of loss of subcutaneous fat in the orbit. Many glands including the sweat, tear and salivary glands are also atrophied. Children with severe acute malnutrition may have temperature instability due to impairment of temperature regulation. In summary, let us remember the following key points. A severely malnourished child does not only have one organ defect, he has changes to all his physiological functions, heart, liver, intestine, kidney, as well as their hormonal, immune, inflammatory, and heat regulating mechanisms. He cannot tolerate an excess of anything without disturbing his homeostasis and to treat such a child requires great skill and understanding of the disturbances of all the system.